Hello everyone. Welcome to First Online University, a global platform for all your education and growth related needs. In this lecture, we are going to continue with the chapter polymers and we will be studying the next classification of polymers that is based on the structure. Before we begin, a piece of information for you. You can use the coupon codes Mission J or Mission NEET while you enroll at First Online University for Mission J or NEET in order to avail good discounts. Now, the first uh, thing that we need to talk about on uh, when we are discussing the polymers classified based on their structure is that what are the various structures that the polymers can actually get, right? So, based on their structure, polymers can be classified into linear polymers as is clear from the name itself. These are going to be straight chain polymers. As you can see in the picture, then we have branched polymers where you will have branches emerging out of the straight chain. Then we have cross-linked or network polymers. Uh, the picture of it is not shown here, but when we discuss about these in detail, you will have pictures also. So, let us first uh, start with linear polymer. Now, as you can see in this picture, there are no branches present. There are no cross-linkings present between the various chains. So, linear polymers are long continuous chain polymers. They have no branching. For example, high density polythene HDP is one such example which is used in making your, uh, as you can see, these plastic boxes, right? Then PVC, polyvinyl chloride, which is used in making pipes. PVC pipes you must have noted or heard. Then we have polyesters, which are used in making uh, clothes. Then nylon, which is used in making ropes. All these are examples of linear polymers. Then we have branched polymer. Branched polymer, as you can see in the picture, are the one which have branches emerging out of the straight chains. So polymers have one main chain and small side chains or branches. Okay. So as you can see, there is one main chain and small side chains. They have low density. For example, low density polythene, LDP, which is used in making these packaging polythenes. Then we have polypropylene. Okay. The third category of uh, the classification based on structure is the cross-linked polymers. Now, cross-linked polymers, again, I don't know why, why the picture is gone. So what happens is the way you have linear polymers, right? So they are uh, continuous chains. Now, cross-links are going to be one where the different chains are going to be linked to one another through various bonding and it is going to form a three-dimensional network structure. So, they are usually formed from bifunctional and trifunctional monomers. Now, what is the functionality of a monomer? That is what you need to know. The number of groups, functional groups present in a monomer that can actually get involved in connecting to some other monomer so that a polymer is going to be formed that is known as the functionality. So if there are two such groups which are present then you will have both the sides uh, the linking is going to take place. If you have trifunctional monomer present that is there are three ways in which that monomer can actually link to some other monomer then you will see that all the three ways it is going to be linking and all such monomers will be linking in all the three directions so it will form a three-dimensional network structure and the connections between these are going to be through strong covalent bonds this leads to network nature because of the cross-linking being formed for example tacalite which i've already told you is used in the making of switchboards etc melamine which is also known as melamac which is used in making these uh you know uh, these uh, unbreakable utensils that you have. Then rubber, which is used in making tires and rubber has like a lot of uses. Now, based on this, let's quickly have a look at few MCQs. PVC is an example of linear polymer, branched polymer, network or none of these. So we have seen polyvinyl chloride is an example of linear polymer. Option A is the correct answer. Next question, LDP, low density polythene is an example of linear branched network or none of these. So LDP, um, since it has in its name itself low density, we have seen it is the branched polymer which have low density because what happens is instead of all the mass being accumulated in a small volume, the mass is going to be spread in a larger volume. And when the denominator, which is like mass density is mass upon volume, right? So when the denominator is increasing, density will automatically decrease. Therefore, we say that low density is going to be associated with 
branched polymer or branched polymers are going to have low density so low density polythene will be an example of branched polymer option b is the correct answer next is which of the following is a linear polymer bakelite melamine polypropylene or none of these so we have seen bakelite and melamine both are network polymers so option c is going to be the correct answer okay next classification of polymers will be based on polymerization so since this is a small classification so i have included it in this lecture only now classification based on the mode of polymerization the polymers can be classified into addition polymers or condensation polymers you will see the difference between the two gradually addition polymers are also known as chain growth polymers and condensation polymers are also known as step growth polymers let us talk about them one by one in detail now addition polymers or chain growth polymers are those which will have monomers of the type alkenes alkyl arenes okay where you have a double bond present okay or sometimes a triple bond present so polymers are formed by the combination of many similar monomers or many two different monomers generally the by products are not formed okay we can have homopolymers where we have all the monomers as same or we can have heteropolymer or copolymer where the different monomers are joining together to form the polymer so homopolymer is the same type of monomers combining to form uh, polymers for example polythene is produced by the combination of all the ethene molecules so there is just one monomer involved and that is ethene then we have a uh, polyvinyl chloride also as an example teflon or lan which is also known as pan polyacrylonitrile pan that is also an example of homopolymer then next is heteropolymer or we call as copolymer where more than one type of mono, uh, monomers are are combining to form the polymers for example buna s where the monomers are styrene and 13 butadiene then buna n where the mon which is also known as nitrile butadiene rubber nbr where the monomers are vinyl cyanide or prop 2 en nitrile and 13 butadiene you need to remember okay buna s and buna n are very very important polymers for which you need to remember the monomers involved now based on this let's quickly have a look at few mcqs which of uh, which of the following is not an addition homopolymer pvc buna s teflon or pan we have already seen it is buna s which is a because it's a hetero addition polymer option b is the correct answer next question what are the monomers of nbr as i already told you you need to know the monomers of buna n and buna s it is 13 butadiene and uh, acrylonitrile so option d is going to be the correct answer so this is all that we had to cover in the classification of polymers based on the structure as well as on the mode of polymerization you can subscribe to our youtube channel for joining youtube live classes for best neat or je coaching you can also download the first online university mobile app through google play store or app store for continuous learning through your smartphones keep learning with first online university a team of millions of learners and educators worldwide